Even amid the virus outbreak, athletes, they are still preparing for the upcoming fall season, but they're having to change, of course, the way they go about it. There's a pretty drastic change, in fact, happening in one program in Highland Heights. Caleb No has the story. For nearly her entire life, almost 17 years, one thing has been the defining factor for Ashley Berry. This is a whole different world for a lot of athletes, especially like for me, because this is all I've done. Cheerleading. She's been a cheerleader at NKU for two years now. You have to work as a team. Like, there is no way you cannot work as a team with the sport. But how do you work as a team or even try out for a team when you can't be together? I'm going to write down I have this many people for this position and make sure that I still build a team together um, with virtual tryouts. That's right, virtual tryouts. No coaches there, no gathering whatsoever, just a cheerleader and their phone. Now I can't do flips or anything, but this is how coaches will pick their teams this year. Recorded videos submitted by each cheerleader. And after they submit their video, the coaches and I will look through the videos and then we will um, call back that cheerleader and ask for an interview so that we can kind of get to know who this person is. N -O -R of course, there are certain things you just cannot do by yourself. Some of them might not have an opportunity to stunt with each other. And your right arm goes behind. But all in all, it'll be pretty similar to trying out in person, even down to the hair, makeup, and appearance. It's still a tryout process. So obviously presenting yourself well is still a huge quality that you need to show. The concept of virtual tryouts might not be ideal, but it is innovative. Thank God that technology has moved forward to, for us to be able to do that. And thanks to that technology, it is possible and it is happening in Highland Heights. On the campus of NKU, Caleb No, WCPO 9 Sports.